How you doing? This is Black Shy Guy here coming at you with another video. Yes, I know I've been gone for a while. I had to work the Erie County Fair. I had to do a lot of stuff. I had to rearrange all my settings for the simple fact that I added a third monitor. It's still not perfect, but I had to come in and do this video. And who we're talking about? We're talking about Shikari. Shikari Richardson. That's who we're talking about. That's what we're talking about. Who has made a comeback debut. And believe me, it wasn't a great comeback debut. It wasn't. All right? A lot of people are slamming her on Twitter. And some for the wrong reasons, but some for the right reasons. What am I talking about? Listen. Before we dive in, make sure you hit that like button. And also subscribe for any upcoming new videos. Let's get into this, all right? Yes, sir. We are here with Shikari Richardson's Nike's Women's 100 Meters, right? This is her first race after being suspended, okay? Her first race after being suspended. And I'm going to break it apart because if I don't, they're going to they're gonna demonetize the video. They're going to just wipe me off the net, okay? So let's start. Obviously... This is the start of the race. Amongst the nine women in this okay, race. Okay, this is the start Sigiri of the race. Richardson won the Olympic trials here in June, but the evening after yes, that sir. race, she tested positive for marijuana, which she said she used the talk of the time, all right? I want you to notice someone, right? I want you to notice someone when she comes up, okay? Result from the trial, so she could not compete in the Olympics. The champion of the Olympics is racing. This meter also, okay? For all of you guys who don't know, Shikari Richardson made a Nike video basically um, announcing her comeback, which I think she should have held before or after. I mean, she should have held that video after she went. You know what I mean? Because it's not a, it, it's just not a good look. And if I was Richardson, and if I was the people who speaks for her, like her sponsors or whatever, I mean her agent, I don't know who speaks for her, but obviously that person needs to be fired because the, uh, the interview she made after this race was horrible. And that's what I blame her for. I don't blame her for, be, for, for coming dead last. I mean, it's a sport. You're going to lose sometimes. You're not always going to be at the top. So the people knocking her for losing and being last, give me a break. You guys act like you never lost a freaking sport. You guys act like you were undefeated, okay? I mean, even Tom Brady, who is the great GOAT of NFL, has lost Super Bowl games. But he's still the GOAT. Richardson is going to lose some races. But I blame her for what she said after the race. And somebody needs to talk to her about that. But, hey, I know. I'm talking too much. Let's dive in. Exactly nine weeks after that story victory on this track in June. This is, I mean, you got Shelly Ann in there. Going up against her, the world champion, Shelly Ann Fraser I mean, four-time Olympian. This is why he... Richardson should have waited before she did that video, that, that commercialized Nike video of her return. And, oh my god. And there she go. You know what I mean? I don't, uh, uh, you know what? When you got fastest woman alive when you got thompson, thompson racing in the same 100 meter as you you should wait <laughs> you should wait before you start talking you should wait after the race because it ain't gonna look good when you get your ass whipped especially by thompson who's defending champ right now i mean listen do your commercialized victory video afterwards. Don't try to um, announce your comeback like you Neo from the Matrix. Just announce your everything after the race because it's just not going to look good. And the way people are, the way people critique every single thing, every single action by everyone, 
including actors, stars, um, people in sports, it's not going to look good. Olympic final in Tokyo. She did the double double. All right, we're going to move to on in successive Olympic games. to the race, okay? We're going to go to the beginning because we're not going to drag this down. We're not going to drag Carrie Richardson down. in the middle. All right, we're going we're gonna to go. Okay. Nine talented women on I mean, this track right now. There's so the much talent in this, this track. Richardson versus you can the make Tokyo a podium freaking, in the women's 100. You can make you can make your own magazine out of these ladies. And this is why Tiana I don't Daniels know why Richardson cut through the made that video. Hold your hand up and we'll have a restart here. Yeah. It's a restart here, they're doing the so. Right this is what big races are supposed to be Let me to know if it sounds good down in the comments. I mean, I did so many different Tiana settings Daniels with my third monitor and everything. Was the only but let's continue. Be hushed. Richardson this said she didn't think that she would be nervous coming into this race, but wants to perform well. And she is sandwiched between the two greatest Jamaican sprinters This ever. is what I'm saying. It'll be two of the best ever. So before this race even starts. You can't be saying that two when you're sandwiched. Two 10-6s versus all these 10-7s never two happened two before greats. in history. You can't. Yeah. Women's 100. And this is the start. Look at Tom. Look, 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 look at Tom. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Do you see that? Do you see where she's at? Do you see where Richardson is at? And like I said, I'm not knocking her. I'm not knocking her for being dead last in this race. You're going to lose some. You're going to lose some. You're going to win some. It, it, that's not the problem here. And for people knocking her once again for losing this race in this manner, especially for the simple fact that she was out. Even, on, even though I don't know what she was doing when she was out, was, did she stop training? The... Was she pure nervous for this race and not showing it? Because this was just... She just got blown out. And like I said, you're going to lose some. It's nothing wrong with this. It's nothing wrong with this picture. And get, you got to admit it. She's going against two greats right next to her. And especially Thompson alone. Nobody should be embarrassed by getting blown out by Thompson. Nobody. But... What everybody's knocking her, which I do give lenient for the people knocking her about this, is that she got blown out by everybody. I mean, if you lost to Thompson, okay, but you just got blown out by everybody. Listen, if you're blaming her for that and disappointed about that um performance, then I understand. Especially if you're a Richardson fan and you're like, yo, what's going on, Richardson? You didn't lose to Thompson. You lost to everybody. But the people who are blaming her just for the simple fact of losing, that's ridiculous. If you're blaming her for the simple fact of who she lost to and the amount of people who she lost to, that, that's a perfect critique. It's nothing wrong with that. But losing, that's a that's a, that's a dumb critique. People lose. It happens. But she lost to everybody. <laughs> she lost to everybody. And I'm not, personally, I'm not even blaming her for that. I'm blaming her for her performance after the race. I'm, I'm blaming her for her performance after the race. Let's shoot forward. I mean, obviously, obviously she is great. Thompson is great. She's a freaking beast. There's no shame in losing to her. She's just amazing. Very. And she looked good. <laughs> but she's amazing. But, okay. No contest. All right. I mean, she found out she ran a record. She so got emotional. Shakari Richardson basically was going to walk out. I don't know if they called over and said, hold up. I don't know if they called her over and said, hold up, hold up. Where are you going? Where are you going? We need to talk to you. Where are you going? She like, hold up. I ain't know. Uh, you want to speak to me even though I lost? I right, bet. So she went and spoke to them. All right. And this is what she had to say. Okay. Let's go right to the interview. Which was right here. Started right there. Mr. Well, Carey, what was your expectation as you came out here today to face these ladies? Let's hear what Richardson had to say, which I'm very disappointed in. Coming out today, it was a great return back to the sport. I wanted to be able to come in before, um, having a month off, dealing with all I was dealing with. I'm not upset at myself at all. <laughs> this is one race. <laughs> I'm not done. <laughs> you know what I'm capable of. Count me out if you want to. Talk all the you want. Because I'm here to stay. I'm not done. 
I'm the sixth fastest woman in this game mm. ever. And can't nobody ever take that from me. Congratulations to the winners. Congratulations. <laughs> Look at these girls. <laughs> I don't know if they laughed in that laugh. <laughs> oh my God. Listen, okay. This this has become a meme. This is a meme in the making right here. This is a meme in the making. You know people are going to make memes out of this right here. Okay? But let's let's move on. Okay. But they're not done seeing me yet. Period. All right. Thank you, Scary. All right. That was her. Um... I'll take. You know what I mean? Take. She ain't done. Listen, Richardson. All right. Listen. You're gonna get critics, okay? You can't. You, you can't attack your critics before your critics uh, uh, respond. All right. You, 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 you're gonna get critics. It's gonna happen. It's nothing wrong with that. Critics are always gonna be critics. You can't. You can't attack the critics, and you can't attack social media before social media has a chance to respond. You know why? Because they're gonna respond no matter what. If you give them that attention. If you give them that attention, you just added more fuel to the fire. There's no reason to respond to critics. You're gonna get critics, even when you're even when you're great, because you already are, Richardson. You're already great. The problem I have with it is that you're just giving all these critics, all these haters, more fuel. Because now they're like, yup, she paying attention to us. Yup. She everything mad is she, she she basically sees everything we write. It affects her, so we're going to keep on writing. So not only are the critics going to write, now the haters are going to even write even more. I don't know why when you're at the success level as Richardson and other people who are way beyond her level, why certain individuals choose to respond to critics and haters. Don't you know that they're hating because their life, their own life is not as successful as yours? That hate is basically coming from, from their own failures. So for you to respond to them, it's, it's kind of beneath you. Don't even give them any attention because that's what they want. See, that's what I'm, that's why I'm disappointed in Richardson. I'm not disappointed in her because she's lost. You're not going to win every race. You're just not. You're not going to win every race. It's normal to lose. And it's also normal to lose with grace. To me, she didn't lose with grace there. She attacked her critics immediately. Her haters, who give a damn about her haters? She can attack her haters anytime, but it's not worth it. But attacking the critics, come on. Just leave it. Leave it. They're gonna, they're gonna, believe me, they're going to respond. Believe me, they're going to respond. doesn't matter. They're going to respond. Don't give them the fuel. And don't give these haters the fuel, especially these haters who have nothing to do in their lives but to sit in front of a monitor and critique and make fun of anything these other people who are way successful than them fail at. You could be as, su as successful as Alexander the Great and people will still critique you about something. They would say, well, Alexander the Great, you won on, you won every single battle, but I remember you used the shield in one of the battles. Yeah, he needed to protect himself. Haters will find anything to critique you on, Richardson. Don't give them the fuel. Don't give them the attention. They're not worth it. They're not. Just do what you do. Day in and day out, do what you do. I mean, there's even a lot of, and a lot of the haters are also actually um, on people who create content that they're going to hate on you just to hate on you. Don't give them the fuel. Don't give them the attention. It's not worth it. You're above them. <laughs> you don't need to give them the attention or the fuel, or you don't even need to give them the 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 proof that you actually pay attention to the to what they say about you it's not worth it they're not worth it you lost this race 
move on to the next. All you had to say in that interview is, I give credit to Thompson. She was a better racer today, but you guys are not done seeing me. I will be back. That's it. You don't need to even mention the critics or the haters. You don't. Somebody need to talk to you, girl, because you, your, your career is something beautiful. Don't ruin it for these haters. Don't ruin it for them. You're above them. You're a champion. You heard? Anyway, this is Black Shy Guy. Make sure you hit the like button for this video. Thanks for sitting at my table. I'm out of here. Peace.